I've been pacing the building, agent zero, Mr. Number Zero, dog, back in zero. I've been pacing the building. I've been pacing the building. You hear me? Let's get it, pace. Let's get it, pace. Make them respect it, big dog. Yeah, let's get this here, man. Let's get it. Shout out pace, homie. It's coming out there just day by day, getting getting better here. Yeah. So it's cool. How much do you think that will be changed during your season year? You playing the field, having that different guy. Um, I feel like I play better with it. Just knowing, like, I'm getting a play call and it's coming through me, and it's all on me. Like, if I don't get a play out there, then it's on me. I don't like uh, point the finger, so I'm gonna take. He said he wants the green. He said he looks forward to having the green dot. Not only that, it makes him better. It makes him better. You hear me? <laughs> That's how you know the signs of a great player. A great player, my dog. He said, "Give me that green dot. I'll take that green dot. <laughs> I don't care if I gotta take the blame. I'll take it. I'd rather take the blame, dog. You hear me?" So he ain't scared to step up. We saw that last season. I'm telling you, man. I've been paced. Change the position, homie. Change the position, my boy. <laughs> Heavy, dog. Change the position, my boy. <laughs> Make history, my dog. Heavy. Great for everybody. Sure. They know it's going to be good no matter what. And I'm going to back him up. But um, I feel I feel better when I'm playing with it. Going back to, like, in high school, where you was always sort of the main voice in the huddle. That's yeah. Just going, going back to high school and going back to college, just seeing from the sideline, like, keep calling out the plays and stuff, it, it just makes me more confident in the game and knowing what everybody's doing and knowing what I'm doing. So, yeah. yeah, he's not used to it. Like, he's not, he's not, I mean, he's used to the green dot. He's used to having the green dot, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the green dot, being a green dot is nothing new to him. He's been doing it his whole career, college, NFL, last year, his rookie season, uh, midway through the season. So it's nothing new to him for real, dog. Heavy, no cap. So he's ready for this opportunity. He's ready for the stage, dog. He's proven that. He's ready for the stage, dog. You hear him? Pace like that. Can't believe team slept on him in the draft. I watched his Cincy highlights. Young one was all over the field. Man, he was, he was, he was out of there. Pace is definitely like that, dog. He showed, you, he showed you he was like that last year. Rookie, UDFA. Like that for real, dog. No cap. He was wearing a green dot last year. This is not news. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Preaching to the choir. <laughs> Once again, the media, hey, Delta Vincent, we know how the media is. Media asks all the, ask certain questions, certain questions they don't ask, dog. You know how many questions, different questions you can ask Ivan Pace Jr.? Come on, bro. Tell <laughs> media be capping, bro. Hey. Media be capping, no cap, you heard me. Yeah, it's, it's out there getting physical, man. You know, they're setting a tone like I told him, so. Good. How much of a milestone is it to reach this day? You know, football is getting that much closer. Um, after the season last year, I was ready to go out for two weeks, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was ready to get back on the field. So it's fun to be back out here, just knowing that we came out and uh, had a little ramp up days with the helmets on, a little padded, padded shorter pads. Uh, now we out here with the pads on for real. So it's getting dirty. And they say Ivan Pace had a big hit today too. <laughs> they say. They say that boy Ivan Pace had a big hit today. You hear me? <laughs> Ivan Pace had a big hit today, dog. Him and him, 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 him and that boy Ty Chandler collided, right? Well, not Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride. Him and Dwayne McBride collided. You hear me? Heavy. That's what it's about, man. He bring that physicality. No, let's get it. Flores definitely has his fingers in every defensive move they made this season, from the draft to that for the free agency acquisition for sure. No cap, Macabelli. He want a POP, homie. Let's get it, man. Shout out Pace. New faces on the defense. You guys feeling like you're building some uh, chemistry and yeah. understanding each other? Yeah, it's, it's all about a brotherhood out here. So uh, we just connecting and getting to know each other. How we, how we, uh, how look like he lost a little weight too. Don't he look skinnier? Don't Alvin Pace look a little skinnier? Let me know in the chat. <laughs> in the chat, do Alvin Pace look a little skinnier, my boy? Let me know in the chat, y'all think. Y'all think he looks skinnier, dog? Let me know. Like he look, lost a little weight, huh? What you think? Yes or no, dog? Let me know. Let me get comments in the chat. Ivan Pace look a little skinnier, no, nah, bro. How <laughs> we play, so just knowing each other and what's going out there and just gonna build our chemistry, get stronger. What do you see from Cashman? Uh, Cashman's a good player, man. Uh, coming over from Texas. Shout out Blake. Shout out Blake Cashman. Shout out Blake Cashman, homie. Shout out Blake Cashman, heavy. I, I was watching him a little bit. He's one of the people I looked up to, so he's good. I like him a lot. And how about uh, Grenard? 
Denar and yeah, him over there coming from the Texans too. They both so good. Uh, I missed the Neil, but at the same time, you know, is gonna be there uh, helping us out too, the same way that he did. So maybe even better. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Man, it was a little like uh, jitter because I'm ready to get out there and get going. But uh, at the end of the day, man, it's just football. Have fun out here with these guys. Who is this dude, dog? <laughs> this Gabriel Murphy? <laughs> Hold on, who is this? Gabriel Murphy? <laughs> hey, chat, let me know who this dude. Who the hell is this guy? Hey, hey, who is this guy, chat? Who is this dude right here? Who the hell is this guy here? Is, is, is this Gabriel Murphy, dog? <laughs> oh, man. Who is this dude here, man? Who the hell is you, my boy? <laughs> you a potential starter, my dog? No cap. Somebody let me know who he be. Who he be, though? <laughs> who this dude is, though? Muhammad in the building. Muhammad in the building. Who ready for preseason? Who ready for preseason? Shout out Muhammad, dog, in the building. Who this guy? Gabriel Murphy, though? He looked like <laughs> Nobel War Prize Waller. He looked like you, Muhammad. <laughs> oh, man. I think, this, I think this might be Gabriel Murphy, man. <laughs> Delta Vista Waller. Delta Vista Waller, over. Why you say he look geeked out? He do look a, he look a little jittery, ain't he? This is Gabriel Murphy right here. Let me know what's up, chat. Who is this fucking guy? You hear me? Who is this guy here, bro? We got a lot of bits in my room that uh, keep my hair level headed. You know, Andrew Van Eagle, Jonathan Greenwood, uh, Jihad. So, you know, I'm just out here trying to have fun and stack days. How creative a situation is this for you? I mean, you clearly had options after the draft. You chose to sign air. Why did you choose to sign air? You know, just a scheme. Uh, Okay, so this so this is Gabriel Murphy. So this is Gabriel Murphy. Gabriel Murphy, right? All right, best. So this is Gabriel Murphy. All right, shout out Gabriel. He's supposed to be one of them ones, ain't he? He's supposed to be a top notch dude, ain't he? Someone will be cut after the fifty three facts. <laughs> Happy to play football facts, <laughs> Muhammad. Wow, who is this dude though? Who is this dude, my boy? <laughs> who is this guy? Yes, yeah, Gabriel. Shout out Scolding, Scolding in the building. I figured it, yeah. I think I think they had his name at the bottom, dog. I want to I want to make sure it wasn't no typo, though. You hear me? <laughs> Who is Gabriel? Who is Gabriel, my dog? You know, I watched a lot of tape on what Coach Flo did, and I feel like I fit in it. You know, a lot of movement up front, a lot of things, that, different things he was doing. Uh, from a pass rush standpoint, a run stop standpoint, I feel like I fit it the best, and you know, I'm ready to get to work. And has all that played out? I mean, going back to even OTA's mini camp and now first few days of training camp, everything you thought, is it coming to fruition? Absolutely, everything's coming to fruition. You know, they got a good plan for me. So just got to keep stacking days, keep going, and uh, keep rushing forward a bit. All right, so how exactly do you fit in? He looks uh, like his energy. He seems, uh, you know, his energy seems like a turned up guy. Like he's ready to go. Like he's just super ready. Like his energy seems just super ready, right? Just super ready. <laughs> like I like, I like his energy, dog. Heavy, no cap. Let me know in the chat. Do you like his energy? Don't you like his energy? You know what I'm saying? He's so turned up. He's so ready for the moment. He seems excited. He seems happy, right? Delton Vincent, facts, my boy. Don't, don't he seem ready to go? Don't he seem turned up? Right, Delton Vincent? Don't he seem like really ready to go and just turned up? <laughs> he got that bitch jumping, huh? He ready to hit somebody in the mouth. Heavy, bro. You hear him? <laughs> Gabriel Murphy came from UCLA. A edge rusher, yeah, I know Scotum, I know my dog, but I'm talking about his demeanor right now, his energy right now. Look like he ready to get out, there, get out there and knock a head off. He looked genuinely happy about being able to play the game. You hear me? <laughs> no cap, homie. What's clean, Big E? Rich Julio in the building. Rich Julio in the building. Shout out, Rich Julio, dog. What up, big dog? What up, Rich Julio? Heavy. I like our linebacker that we have some good dogs back there. Linebacker, the strongest position, in my opinion. Linebacker, the strongest position, in my opinion, Noble War Prize. How about you? How you feel about it, Noble War? Matter of fact, chat. How you feel about it in the chat? <sighs> Excuse me. Linebacker, the best position as far as depth for the Vikings? I, I think so. Let me know. Let me get LBs in the chat. Let me get LBs in the chat if you believe so. Huh? Cooperate, you hear me? <laughs> Let me get LBs in the chat. If you think linebackers are the Vikings' best uh, position group, hey. he better work on his vision too, though. But yeah, big EJ, no care. 
I like what I'm seeing as well. Big skull heavy, dog. Motherfucking linebackers in the chat, dog. Hell yeah, Muhammad Sahil, linebackers, linebackers, heavy, man. Let's get it. We know what's up. We know the vibes. Linebacker position group ready, dog. Let's get to work, man. Let's work. Let's grind. Yeah, so how does flowing use you? Uh, from, from a pastor's standpoint, you know, just – uh, get on the edge, you know, a little bit inside. You know, he's moving me all over. You know, I put a little bit uh, inside linebacker, you know, outside linebacker, so kind of all over the defense wherever he sees me playing. Where he's still with the uh, how important is this time now, too? You got some, you in addition to you, with several new faces just to kind of all know what you're all doing. Yeah, uh, that's the game. Oh, yeah, no uh, oh. How important is it to count? Kind of all that damn noise in the background. I don't know why the Vikings choose the loudest, noisy areas. To hold these pressures at dog. <laughs> no cut. Uh, get all the new faces all on the how important this time to get everyone on the same page. You no, know, it's a lot of important. You know, it's my first NFL training camp, so just coming out here, learning the playbook, getting in there, trying to understand guys and how they like to rush. You know, some of them like upfield. You know, taking underneath whatever it is. You know, just getting to understand my teammates. You know, because like I said, it's my first NFL training camp, and then just dealing with them, seeing how they like to do it, and you know, just doing little things for them. Putting on the pads, I'm sure everybody already asked you, but how much difference does that make? Uh, I would just say from a run, run take uh, standpoint, you know, just shooting your hands, able to get in there and shock somebody and do those different things. So getting on the pads, uh, not uh, not much change because, you know, we've already got a hook system and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, it's a great time out here, had fun, you know, just ready for the next day.